When a rufous comb-footed spider takes on a spitting spider, it's the mother of all battles. It has all the appearances of a routine night in the rainforest. A rufous comb-footed spider moves into a new neighborhood. The burden she carries is her egg sac, bulging with the next generation. Each of these egg sacs may have anywhere from 20 to 150 eggs. Deciding a dead leaf will make a good home and nursery, the mother-to-be leaves the sack dangling by a silk thread and starts building her new web. With her egg secure at the top of her new home, her killer instincts kick in again. A wandering termite is the first victim of her deadly silk combing skills. The comb-footed spider doesn't try to bite the prey until it's really securely wrapped up in the silk straitjacket. And then, once it's wrapped up, she'll come in for a bite. Then she'll hoist the prey up into her web, and there she can feed on it at her own leisure. As she settles down to dinner, marauding ants crash her housewarming feast. Fearing the ants will make a meal of her eggs, the combfoot's maternal instinct kicks in. She goes on the attack. Her needle-like fangs administer a venomous coup de grace. Her eggs are safe for now, but the night isn't over. Nearby, Another silk specialist is on the move. And far from welcoming the new kids on the block, she'll be spitting with rage. The spitting spider has venom glands to produce silk as well as venom. So the concoction this girl sprays out is both sticky and toxic. When this spider gets about a half inch from her prey, she'll then vibrate her fangs at 1,800 times a second while spraying out this venom-laden silk concoction, coating the prey in a zigzag pattern and pinning it to the ground. A black-tailed scorpion out for a takeaway meal is about to find out how deadly the silky spit can be. The scorpion grabs a leg. Its sting searches for a weak spot but it doesn't count on a sticky barrage. Traveling at around 70 miles per hour, the toxic silk hits the target and immediately contracts, gluing the scorpion to the tree. With that deadly stinger out of action, the spitting spider moves in for the kill. One bite, and the venom destroys the scorpion's nervous system. For a spider this small to bring down a scorpion really shows the power of the weapon that she's packing. This huge meal supplies energy for a new batch of spitting silk, and she will need it. When she finds out the rufous comb-footed spider has moved in next door. There'll be no love thy neighbor. This is a fight that's bound to end in bloodshed. I'm just not sure who's. Next, a spitting, weaving war of the web fighters. Then, lethal assassin go head to head.
A rufous, comb-footed spider settles into her new home. Her one thought is to protect her eggs. But a fully armed spitting spider is about to invade her nursery. The spitting spider fires off toxic silk. The rufous, comb-footed spider retaliates with silk wrapping. Whoever wins that battle finishes off their foe with venom. The invader tiptoes across the web. The rufous combfoot is fully aware she has company. She leapfrogs out of spitting range. Her attacker fires, but is off target. The combfoot heads for cover, leaving her eggs exposed. Even when her own safety is on the line, the Rufus comb-footed spiders guard their egg sacs and defend it. The spitting spider fires again. But with one leg guarding her precious eggs, the comb foot mounts a silk throwing counterattack. The spitting spider fires back. She keeps firing, but she's run out of silk. Rufus moves in and wraps her opponent in a silk shroud. Well, that sure didn't go according to plan. The spitting spider picked a fight with the wrong spider on the wrong day, and it's toast. No matter how formidable your weapon, if you run out of ammunition, you're finished.